Okay. Well, he should pay attention to this next story for sure. Yes. Oh, you yeah. especially mm -hmm. Greg with the younger right. kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Triple mm -hmm. A expects this yeah. will be the third busiest uh, for Thanksgiving travel wow. uh, since tracking began in the year 2000. What? Third busiest travel. Well, weekend. the group is also predicting more than what is that? 54 million people will travel for the holiday, and if you have children. Listen Ooh. up, the hustle and the bustle can be very <laughs> stressful. Yes. So Erica Budd is a local travel expert and look at that, the author and you know, to mission to Australia. Yeah, yeah, did you go all the way there? Well, she joins us tonight with some tips to uh, make sure that traveling is easier for families. Welcome to our show, our stream team, Hour of Power. Erica, of course, we have some great ideas for you, I hope tonight. Thank you, thank you for having me. All right, so. Let's just start right out. What do you recommend for people and how do they prepare ahead for a trip? Okay, so as far as traveling is going right now, a lot of people know that trips are getting canceled and delayed. And so we're going to hope not that doesn't happen. But in order to prepare so that you're a little less stressed out, one thing I'm going to recommend that a lot of people don't do is just get a packing list. I know it sounds crazy because you know exactly what your kids or your family needs. But one of the last things you want to stress about is trying to remember every single thing. And when, especially when you have multiple kids, you're going to have a lot of things to remember. So get a packing list. Hmm. Make sure you download that airline app. That airline app might save you if they have to cancel your flight. It's going to be a lot easier to find a new flight on your app than it is to give, it, give them a call, right? Yeah. Make sure you have a plan B and C. Think about it before you get there. Because if your flight gets delayed and all of a sudden you're thinking about it and you panic, that's the last thing you want to think about. But if you think about it beforehand, even if you don't think it all the way through, at least you'll have thought about, can I fly there? Is there a different airport? Can we delay Thanksgiving dinner by a couple hours until I get there? Just think about anything that could happen just so you're kind of prepared ahead of time. Oh. Also, make sure your kids have a toy bag. Okay. Make sure your kids have a toy <laughs> bag because yes. that's going to be your lifesaver as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, iPads for sure. Well, anything if you can. So <laughs> weather electronic. going through, Greg was talking about several feet maybe out east, delays, cancellations you touched on. I remember going through Texas and one of the airports I was, it was, uh, I think it was Houston Hobby. All the bathrooms got the water, there was a water leak and they <gasps> shut them all down. Oh. And I'm just like, well, I had to use the bathroom and get a sandwich and they stopped everything. But I was thinking about the kids. Right. What I was thinking about do? all the families where the, he's been holding it for four hours. Oh. And what is some of your advice to parents <laughs> about delays and cancellations when you're stuck in the airport? Oh, man. You know, when you're stuck in the airport, it's actually a lot better than the airplane, right? Yes, because in the airplane, true. you're a little bit more stuck. But believe it or not, there are a lot of games you can do with kids okay. at the airport. You don't think about them, but something as simple, how many of us play I Spy in the car? You do that at the airport. Scavenger hunts, 20 questions. These are things you can play with multiple people. Uh, you can do uh, tra tra travel bingo where you just think about items that are in that every single person has and whoever finds it first wins. There's so many different games that you can play. Um, make sure you pack snacks though too, right? Oh, because yeah. you don't always know. Yeah. The last thing you want is a hangry family. I don't know about <laughs> you, but my kids, when, when we're all hangry, it's the last thing you want. So pack pen plenty of snacks. And don't forget, if it does get, if your plane gets delayed, Remember that how you act as parents, mm. that's going to affect your children. And yeah. that was something that I'm reminded of every single time. If you think it's the worst thing in the world, it's going to affect your kids too. But if you think of it more as an adventure, what can mm -hmm. we do? It's going to help tremendously. Oh, yeah. and, you're, and your kids are watching you. Yeah. Like that's your kids are watching yeah. you. Yeah. They are. off and upset. You got to stay cool because they're going to just emulate you. You got to have they that because really it can get expensive to eat at airports, oh, if, yeah. you know, if you have yeah. multiple children. And also, you know, you've got to have the books and you got to have the iPads. You got to keep their minds going. I love that the, the games, you got to bring out the old school games yeah, <laughs> that <hurts>. still work. <laughs> it sounds like, yeah, um, Erica, you've been through this before um, and you sound like you're a really adventurous person. So tell us about your book mission to Australia and what is it all about yeah so I love to travel that's one of the reasons why I wrote about Australia I live there and I uh, that was something that I wanted kids to get excited about traveling and exploring the world and learning about other cultures but what's unique about this book is I really wanted them to experience Australia so it has augmented reality which most people haven't heard of so some of the pages not only have a 3d feature but there's actual real life footage. So example, when they see like the kangaroo, they will actually see real footage of a kangaroo so they know exactly what it looks like. Or a wombat, they'll see okay. an actual wombat. 
So it's really cool, and I just really wanted to get them excited about the things you see in Australia. Yeah, up close with the koala bears, one of my favorite places in the whole world. Yeah. I went scuba diving in the Great Barrier Reef in there. Australia. Yeah. So long flight. But that's one thing I have to say. You can't say koala bear. It's koala. Ah, see, because yes. you live there, you know the expert right. way to talk. See, yeah. I'd have a picture with one, but uh, so <laughs> not with a good koala. Take it home. Right. Uh, Erica Bud, thanks for joining oh, us tonight. Good luck on your holiday me. travels. Okay? Right. Yeah. Great advice. Well, that those means. games are fun for adults too. I spy. Oh, we anything. Talk about that one. Yeah. Oh, I did. did well, Pat, I'm a child in an adult body, so I like these games. <laughs> uh, but it, it helps keep your mind fresh. Right. Too. You got to be creative for your children. It's so. hard traveling with kids. Yeah. Yeah, I, I know. Don't, That's I, why my I parents envy, put us in a car. Yeah, <laughs> right, Greg. I don't envy you, buddy. Your girls are right at that age. Yeah, uh, but it's a lot of fun too. To you take know, they've them. got curiosity minds. Yes, and, and adventures. Yeah. I just love adventures. Right. And I always try to make it fun for the family. And it's a blessing to get on a plane as a young person. I agree. You know, as Some a family, don't get to do it right? Until they're you older. know, they're yeah. Really so if you can do that, and then the people, it's it's exciting. And then the airports are all decorated this time of yeah, year too. Be, so hopefully, everything goes well. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.